Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are installing another simple loading screen because a lot of people were saying that the last loading screen I enabled some download was broken or something or they were having problems with it. So today we're installing something even simpler which you can literally have your server name and discord name on. Hopefully this does help you for the people having issues with the other loading screens I've covered in the past. I did want to say real quick, I apologize for the lack of uploads this week. I have been super busy with school and super busy with work stuff. And I really haven't had any free time. So I'm hoping to get back on track this week. I cannot wait for some cool videos videos to come out. I'm working really hard on them. Um, so please subscribe, stay tuned, comment if you want to see a different script or something, just leave a link to it. Um, it really does help me out when I'm going through them. Anyway, let's get started. So this loading screen just literally makes a cool server name and discord. Very, very easy to install. All you have to do is go to the GitHub page, which is linked in the top of the description. And then all you're going to have to do is click this big green button and go ahead and click as download zip. This will go ahead and download a zip file, open this up with winzip 7 zip win rarm. And then at the same time, you're going to go to wherever your server resources are uh, found minor in my server data resources folder. If you are on TX admin, it's probably in your TX data folder. If you're on zap hosting, it will be in your FTP file access. Then when you're inside this resource folder, all you're going to have to do is you can see in here it has to index.html or resource underscore underscore resource.lula, the script for .js, the style.css, and the readme file. So all you have to do is drag this whole thing into your resources folder. Just to keep things on a uh, nice um, type of formatting, I'm just going to make it cool load, get rid of the dash main that GitHub adds, and go ahead and copy the name just so we have it. If you want to edit what's on the loading screen, all you have to do is edit your index.html file with notepad or notepad++. I recommend notepad++. You can change your server name, so I'm just going to name it BGHD Dev, and my Discord link, which will just be our, my Discord link um, myself for our Discord server. We cannot sadly provide support for 5M things there, but we can help out um, in terms of just talking and hanging out. So there we go, just going to change that. We've set up our loading screen. Now we're going to edit our server.cfg file wherever you have that. Also can be on TX Admin or on your console page for Zap Hosting. And I'm just going to add ensure or start, depending on what you have here, cool dash load. That's all you have to add. Then we're going to go ahead and start up our server and we're going to see if it started up using your FX server.exe or your start.bat file. And you can see as long as you're in here and it says started resource cool dash load or something along the lines of that, whatever you named your folder, you know you are good to go. So let's hop in game and take a look at this load screen. All right, so there we go. You can see we are loading in. We have our server name. We got our Discord link and everything. So we have installed our loading screen successfully. Hopefully this did help you install. I know it did um, just make it really easy for me to have a nice little loading screen when I load. And I'll probably keep this for future videos. So make sure to stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. And I will see you in two days, hopefully for the next video, depending on how my homework and everything else goes this week. But that is my plan. Thanks so much for hanging out. I apologize again for the delay. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.